Good day, leaders, and welcome back to Semper Admin, your go-to resource for mastering administrative tasks. In today's video, we will be covering how to auto-sum and auto-fill in Microsoft Excel. Before we uh, dive in, let's just quickly discuss why it's crucial for Marines to understand what this is and how it's used. The auto-sum and auto-fill are time-saving features that can help you quickly perform calculations and fill in data, which is essential for um, efficiently completing administrative duties in the Marine Corps. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the auto-sum. So I have some random numbers here, right, that I want to have summed up. So the first thing you can do is you're going to say, hey, where do I want to go? And then here under the home tab, home tab, and then over here, we're going to have auto sum. And then we also have these others, but we're going to click on sum first. And it's going to identify the area already put in that function for you. Just hit enter. And now all of this has been summed up to 160, which we can see down here is correct. And again, you could have done that also for average if you wanted, or any of these quick functions that you have here for the max min that we've kind of already covered in our other videos. So the other option you have is you can also do it when they're in a line, when they're um, next to each other, just like this, instead of just vertical, horizontal. So auto sum again by clicking the button and boom, it automatically calculated the, uh, the sum of all of those numbers for you, just like that. So again, you still have those same options that we had here. The next one that we're going to talk about is this auto fill. So I have this giant list of numbers that I want to continue filling in um, to a certain extent. So usually I'm going to highlight first the area that I want to come down to. I'm going to come into fill and I'm going to look at uh, flash fill. And if you look right now, it's not giving me anything that I want. So I'm going to come up here and come to series and I'm just going to look at trend and hit OK. And if you notice, now it filled in all the numbers based on the cells that I had identified for that piece. So you can also come in here and do series again, and then you can actually look at your values here. So step and at 100 that we had at that piece. So oh, sorry about that. All the way down, okay. Come up here to fill series stop at 100 and now it's going to fill it all the way in till you get to 100. so you're going to actually set it or you can hi highlight it there's a couple different options that you have but it's pretty cool that you have those couple quick fills options that you have in there for that piece so you can also do that going across so again highlight your information fill series trend and now it added that next one. And again, if I want to do multiple, I could have done the same thing here for the trend. And then you have these different options again for growth, date, autofill, things like that, row, columns, all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of cool, the different things that you have in that aspect. Now the same thing you can do here, we can actually do it for dates. So let's come up here to fill series for days. And then we could do weekday, month, year. We have a whole bunch of different options. So trend, it fills it in. We can also come in here and fill, oh, no, not auto sum. Let's do month. So it adds up the months as it's going through. So it added the month as it went through. And it kind of helps you like reutilize this data the way that you want. And you have growth, uh, which is actually not gonna help you in that piece but just different functions. And again, this also works going side to side if you wanted to use that in its own factor. So a lot of cool stuff uh, with those couple options that we have out there. Before we wrap it up, I just wanna point out a few common mistakes to avoid or tips to keep in mind while using the auto sum and auto fill. Double check the Excel has um, selected the correct range of the auto sum to ensure the accurate calculations, um, especially if you have like a break so if I got rid of this one, for example, and I did the auto sum, you see how it doesn't know I want that entire range. So just be aware that it's actually selecting the right thing. Use the autofill to quickly populate dates, days of the weeks, months, and custom lists um, as we went over. Autofill uh, can also be used to copy formulas down an entire row. So when you're doing those calculated uh, items, you can also utilize that for that. To quickly recap today, we covered the use of the auto sum and autofill in Excel. 
including the auto sum with a button or a keyboard shortcut, um, the use of autofill in the series and patterns. Remember, mastering these administrative uh, features will help you become more of an efficient and effective Marine in these administrative duties. That's it today for today's video. If you found this content helpful or if you learned anything, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to Semper Admin for more instructional videos on the Marine Corps administrative duties. Feel free to leave a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions for a future topic. Until next time, stay motivated and Semper Fi. Thank you.